All right, hey guys, welcome back. It's Aquatic Bobs here. Uh, tonight, wanted to do a little video, just kind of updating you guys on how my coral is doing. And my last video talked a little bit about why I've been gone and uh, took a break for a little while. This video, I want to just go over a few corals. There's a lot in here to cover, so I might uh, I might jump around a little bit and do a second, maybe even third update video. Uh, but yeah, this OG bounce here, it's its like one of the highlights of the tank. People look at it, and I do have my fisheye lens on my uh, phone camera right now. Uh, so if the edges look weird of the video, look warped and kind of weird, that's why. I just want to be able to get a little closer and clearer picture in the center. So, But uh, yeah, this is the OG bounce mushroom. Beautiful, beautiful coral. Just, yeah, <laughs> I love it. A lot of people point this one out as the first coral that they notice. Uh, this is a Aqua SD Rainbow Sinister Chalice. You can see the really cool color combinations in there. Very pretty. This is a uh, another coral from aqua sd it uh i think it's called ah, i can't really remember sorry <laughs> it's like a circus acan or something rainbow circus or something like that i had an eye for a lot of rainbow corals but uh torch garden doing pretty good here's where things get interesting is we got so many uh, eclectus mushrooms they're just all over the place they're spreading on their own and really doing a good job at it so I haven't even had to frag these guys for probably two and a half months and you can see they're just shooting up new pieces everywhere this one came off the rock and left behind a little foot over there uh, you can see well, the fish is kind of in the way, but there he is. What's up, dude? <laughs> I love looking at these. When I uh, look at it with my phone and can get even a little closer up, it's really pretty. Hi, bud. Just a little yellow goby. Uh, so yeah, got all those uh, eclectus mushrooms. We'll zip down here quick, and we got a whole bunch more eclectus mushrooms. Some of these really are cool patterned. Stuff that you just couldn't come up with on your own. Mardi Gras bounce. That's some kind of um, weird mushroom. A couple more eclectus mushrooms. They're kind of just everywhere. So here's a cool mushroom that I wanted to point out. Oh, you can't even see. I wonder if I go high enough. So you can see this top rock. Well, that's really blurry. But on the back side of it, you can see a tiny bit of orange. That's another jawbreaker mushroom that's come in. And you can see this slimy, weird stuff in the front of this frag plug. Uh, this jawbreaker mushroom is leaving parts of its foot all over the place. And he went underneath the frag rack here. Sorry. But uh, yeah, he's actually really cool and pretty when he fully extends. He's got like green speckles and red speckles on him. But uh, thankfully he's leaving part of his foot all over the place. So I'm going to have three or four jawbreaker mushrooms there. It's going to be pretty neat. This Recordia. Recordia Yuma. That's the mother. Now here's another one that a lot of people love to see. This thing has grown quite a bit since I got it several months ago. There's a lot smaller chunk. Put it on a big frag rack plug thing. And uh, he's just kind of slowly spreading out over time. Curious to see what's going to happen on the left side. Kind of like the, the front. Uh, 
this area here as it kind of grows out. It's got a little bit of all the colors in it. It's going to be pretty cool. Zoa Garden doing really well. These things have like purple tips on them. Really love it. More eclectus mushrooms. Got uh, this guy here. Um, My Miami chalice. It's pretty cool. Sorry if I'm not doing a lot of in-depth explaining. I just kind of want to point some of these out in this video, like I said. Just kind of go over it quickly. And in some upcoming videos, go into a little bit more depth of, of what I've been doing and why I've been doing it. And then things that I've changed, why I've changed it. And stopped doing certain things as well, too. So... Some of these acros really look a lot different than they did three or four months ago. Some of them look a lot better. And some of them just like this one. Uh, this is a Carolina Reaper uh, from Top Shelf Aquatics. That's the mother colony right there. It's a pretty big chunk. But uh, yeah, they just kind of they're not doing it <laughs> I don't know if, if it's not getting enough light or flow here but uh, try to figure that out you can see the Walt Disney everybody everybody loves Walt Disney and comments on it it's so big right up front top shelf aquatics circus freak the haymaker Starting to get some real nice color in it. Now again, I I don't put my hands in the tank that often. I think in the last month I've maybe put my hands in once or twice. Uh, and that's when because when I'm cleaning the glass, sometimes the inside part of the mag float comes off and it'll accidentally get stuck to like one of the magnets or something. So I have to put my hand down there to pull it out. But yeah. I try to keep my hands out as much as possible. Here's the rest of that My Miami chalice, the, the mother colony part of it. I like that it's got this green speck in its eye. It's like the, the all watchful eye. <laughs> it's just, it's there. It's right in the front. It's like one of the only eyes that has it. It's just watching. It's pretty cool. Real bright colors in here. Just very happy with this tank. Very, very happy. I'm going to be cutting a bunch of stuff up probably over the next two or three months. Transferring some up to my dad's house and continuing to sell some more too. I have a new method for selling coral. I'll go over that in uh, one of my later videos. And just the process that they go through after being fragged, uh, dipped. Uh, quarantined you know inspected and everything because uh, we really do want to get a lot more serious with selling coral so I want to do it right we want to do a good job we want people to be happy and we want people to want to come back and buy more coral so but yeah that's just kind of a quick update video on some of the coral fish are doing good uh, pretty much all the same fish I did add that fox face there uh, the bicolor fox face and he's kind of been pretty cool. He's gotten along really well with the blue tang. They spend a lot of time swimming together. And I feel like he does eat some random stuff off the rocks too. So, yeah. Just happy overall. And appreciate you guys still sticking with me. Uh, sticking with uh, the Aquatic Bob's idea. And I know my dad's thankful. He's excited. Uh, he's really excited that I'm making videos again too. Uh, I think it's got him charged up a little bit, and we are going to be going to Reef of Palooza in, at the end of April 2022, so about a month from now, we're going down to Florida for Reef of Palooza, we'll be there a couple days, so <laughs> might see some of you guys there, I'll look forward to it, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys in a couple days in the next video, Aquatic Bobs, out!